Okay, good evening everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is the Wednesday night Chinese takeout. We're going to focus primarily on China stocks tonight. We are going to look at the Dow Industrials to see what happened today. Today is Wednesday, February 19th, 2014. Okay, so the Dow was down almost 90 points today. Uh, we had the Federal Reserve, the Federal Open Market Committee come out with their notes of the meeting, the last meeting. So uh, people were talking about that to a certain degree. And then the market sold off kind of in the afternoon. Uh, it was pretty much close to unchanged around the time of the release. Then it sold off. So I don't know that we have anything uh, that this is signaling anything major here today. Uh, we don't have a close below the prior two day low. We don't have a close below the 10 day yet. Uh, it just a little bit of a pullback. Uh, the Dow transports, uh, do I have that up? There we go. Dow transports a little bit weaker, looks a little more negative, almost looks like a sell signal to me in here. Uh, we'll see whether or not we continue to get follow through. Uh, we've got the 10 below the 20, 20 break, breaking below the 50, uh, a little more negative than the Dow industrials. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Okay, and back on the Dow Industrials, one thing I wanted to comment on real quick. There's been a lot of publicity about this 1929 analog, and I may have even talked about it or, or uh, blogged about it a little bit in my post. But um, I think, it, and it's a little bit of an eerie parallel in here, but there's a part of me, the contrarian part of me, thinks that when so many people are focused and aware of uh, a certain uh, type of situation, that the opposite happens. Or, or you know, because it's such an eerie parallel that something way out of the blue causes it to happen that we're not even aware of. And we look back and go, wow, we had no idea that was coming. And, you know, where did that come from? So I don't know. And the only thing we could possibly do as traders is to make sure that when you take on a position, you've got a stop identified. You know where your uncle point is. You honor that stop. You don't move the stop because you wish it would be different. You have to go ahead and honor the stop. And, and that's all we can do. And if we get buy signals in here, I've got to try to take them because I'm not trying to stay in the market right now for three months, two months. I'm trying to be in for maybe a day or three days or 10 days or so, depending on what the signals are. So anyway, that's, that's it. That's my thoughts on that. And we'll kind of get back here to the Shanghai Composite. Um, okay, so we've had this rally up since mid-January. And uh, a pretty nice move this last day, kind of a bullish encompassing type move on a candlestick in here because it's, you know, um, an outside day and outside day from of uh, encompassing the last two days. An outside day, I mean lower low and higher high than the last two days in here, okay? Uh, but we still have lower lows and lower highs. We're, we're kind of trending down. We need to get these, we need to take out this point number one before we could start, you know, ringing the bells and and uh, uh, doing standing ovations for the Chinese uh, stock market yet. But uh, right now it's trying to get back up there, but it's not showing anything yet. Okay, the number one percentage gainer today was Tuna Air uh, of the 20 Chinese stocks I follow. Uh, nice move. It's had a nice four day rally in here. Uh, can't say that I've got anything else to say about this. I don't have a position. It is up here at the top, closing above the Kellner channels. So it's getting to where it was extreme before, before it sold off. So that's the only thing I can kind of tell you about this stock at the moment. There's just not a ton of history. Uh, so it's one of the ones I'm watching, not, not one of the ones I'm trading options on. Home in hotels and management. Uh, this is another one that's interesting. Doesn't have the volume. In here, uh, the 50-day uh, moving average volume is like 364,000 shares. But if you're looking to buy a Chinese stock, this looks like a buy in here, in my opinion. Uh, this looks like it's starting to round up to the upside. It's pulled back this move in here. Um, from here to here, it's pulled back a little over 50%. It's in that 50 to 61.8%. Some people call this the ambush zone. Uh, where they, they're looking to jump on board and, uh, and catch the rally. And, of course, that would have been perfect for, for this move. Uh, and right now it, it's looking pretty good, um, looking like it's wanting to move higher. Okay, 500.com, that's another one. It's come breaking out of the, the symmetrical triangle. It's only been trading since uh, November 22nd. 
uh, and it's making a nice little move in here. Uh, but again, not enough history for me and only a little over a half a million shares uh, in terms of 50 day average volume. I can't imagine that the options are very liquid on this stock, but it's one you want to keep an eye on. And um, uh, I mean, it's priced up in the nice, nice uh, trading range if we can just start to get this little, little more liquid. And uh, in terms of the losers, where is C Trip? C Trip was the biggest percentage loser today, which wasn't huge. Um, it was down 2.37 points after pretty good moves here the last three days. Uh, so it's kind of looks like it's wanting to pull back to this trend line that it broke. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it pull back into here and or down to this rising 10 day exponential moving average. So uh, right now, C trip looks like it's trying to push higher. It's breaking back up through this trend line. Uh, and if you're going to look to get on board, I would look to try to get on board down in here and don't have a specific uh, trade idea on this one right now. Um, and VIP shop, VIP shop holdings. Again, this is another one. This looks like the demand index is another one of my key indicators that I really like. This is showing um, a divergence. You can see that this did not go to a higher high and this went to a higher high. And the same thing on uh, in here on the uh, RSI, 10 day RSI. And you didn't get the same reading on the uh, DI plus, but two out of the three are saying there's divergence on the pricing. So I would really hesitate. The other thing to think about on this VIP shop, uh, if you look back and I, I checked the data earlier, February 19th, 2013, exactly a year ago, VIP shop was $24.38 and today closed at 111.92. That's one hell of a move. So, uh, Right now, I would be got to be careful about jumping in uh, unless you're really positive of the swing. Why? Why? Possible double top. Uh, don't really have anything else to tell you about this particular one. And uh, I would just watch to see if this starts to roll over. Uh, we're not getting, I don't think, any divergence in here because we haven't pushed to a higher high here yet. Now, maybe if we do push to a higher high and we don't get confirmation, then that, I mean, which it's hanging back quite a bit on these indicators. So if we were to push a little bit higher in here, that could be uh, a negative setup. So that's the best I've got on YY. And the last thing I want to talk about tonight is a new trade idea on Twitter, actually, which um, I am getting a uh, sell signal on Twitter. And I think at today's close, I'd be looking to try and I'll put this on the trade ideas page. I'd be looking to try to you know, buy puts, go short on Twitter at the opening tomorrow morning. Of course, you got to watch the action in the opening. Got to be careful. Sometimes the liquidity is not that great. Should be great on Twitter though, um, but uh, on some stocks it's not. But that's going to be my call on this one. We'll see how that works out. Now the average true range on Twitter is 3.52, so two ATRs is going to be seven points. Uh, that you got to give this maybe in terms of some room in the beginning anyway until it goes your way. So we'll see if this doesn't play out. It might test this prior low here or it might go down beyond. We'll just have to see how it goes. So anyway, that's the new trade idea for tonight. And um, that's it. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great Thursday and we will talk to you tomorrow night. See how the markets do and have a great day trading. Take care.